right aquaculture certification is a way of certifying the process of producing aquatic products in aquaculture the process which has been taken for producing the product is sustainable and it is equitable and it is fair. So basically in aquaculture certification we try to certify that the final product the production of aquaculture the production site is well managed the animals have been well managed and their health has been managed well and welfare and the process has been environmentally friendly without polluting the environment without taking too many things from the environment and that the people who have been involved in production have been fairly and equitably treated and rewarded that means the wages and of course your product is safe to eat so food safety food safety animal health and welfare environmental integrity and social responsibility those are the four main things in 2006 when the FAO membership met what we call a committee on fisheries a subcommittee on aquaculture which is the exclusive intergovernmental forum for discussing aquaculture which meets every two years in 2006 when we met in India the members of FAO who were at the meeting requested that FAO should involve in looking at aquaculture certification because there are many certifying bodies are mushrooming and causing confusion among the producers and the traders and the governments and that costing people to pay for certification without really knowing what's the basis for the certification therefore they said FAO should develop guidelines on aquaculture certification for international community we had a very lengthy consultative process so many meetings and workshops all over the world took about five years and we developed a set of guidelines which in 2011 approved by the subcommittee on aquaculture for committee on fisheries and also by the committee on fisheries which became an international guidelines for aquaculture certification these guidelines are now basically the benchmark for aquaculture certification worldwide after two years again the governments said that some people are claiming that their schemes are in par with the guidelines and they comply with the guidelines but how do we know so they said FAO develop a compliance monitoring framework or compliance assessment framework so that anyone can look at the framework and a scheme and see whether the scheme is within the compliance of the aquaculture guidelines of FAO so we have developed those the framework it was discussed at the last subcommittee meeting held in October this year in St. Petersburg it was approved by the subcommittee which will now go to the committee on fisheries who will meet next year to further approve and finalize the 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 compliance framework so who would work with us the governments work with us from private sector who would work with us when we develop the compliance framework we brought together a group of experts including major certifiers major producers major buyers major markets major governments nearly 30 people sat down for three days to discuss and draft the compliance framework so when the way we work as much as we develop guidelines as as much as we develop 
manuals for implementation of such guidelines. We always bring together people representing the regions, the expertise, the governments, so that the consultative process becomes more robust.